Hi there, I'm Julian, and I'm going to talk today about a feature in Claude Code, a coding agent that has become very popular recently. The feature I'm going to be talking about is, I think, potentially more useful than MCP, which I think is saying something day to day. A lot of people are excited about MCP, but not really sure how much is practically applicable. Anyway, here's the real problem. How do you keep a bridle on this wild horse that we're unleashing on our code base? And you can have rules and they're good, but they're kind of more like suggestions. So the feature I'm going to be talking about is hooks. And basically with hooks, you can have a series of guardrails or safety nets that can guide how the agent does things. I will show you a very specific problem I have. So I have, when I create TypeScript node projects, I always want to use bun instead of npm or pnpm or yarn. And I had a rule in the past in the claude.md file, other rules files that say use bun. But somehow it kind of sneaks in there, the odd npm command. And there are some nuances that mean that that's just confusing and difficult and actually often can cause failures. So I wanted to be consistent. So how do you do that? Well, let's go to the big game, like what happens and in the old way and what happens in the new shiny way. So here's a new project. I'm just going to run Claude here and I'm just going to ask it, create a node project. Okay, very simple. And what's it going to do? It's going to use collectively what is the most common response to that, which is npm. As you can see uh, in a second, there we go, npm init-y. There it is, right? So it's trying to run that command. And that makes sense. But actually, npm is kind of out of date. I want to use bun. So in this magic new shiny project, let's see what happens. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. And I'm actually going to just, to be really clear, I'm going to copy and paste this exact command into this other project, which are called Awesome Claude Hooks, a public repo where you, we could potentially have a shared repository of useful things that people can do. So create a node project. What's going to happen in this magic project? Okay. What's it doing? Drum roll. To do's. Oh, okay. What did it do? It said it tried running npm, but it uh, it actually bounced back and said there's a hook called bundle. It says npm is not allowed in this project. Please use bun instead. Okay. And then it says bun init. Amazing. This is really exciting. If you think about the consequences of this is really quite profound. Uh, so that's really the most interesting part. I'm now going to slide to part two of this where I'll dig into a little bit of the how. Okay, um, the how is there is a configuration in dot Claude called settings, which says we've got a pre-tool use. I'm gonna zoom this up now, I can see, I can hide all these things a wee bit and we can have a look more at the code. And we've, we've got a command called bundler standard. And uh, so bundler standard, it's it's um, a type, TypeScript um, command. And we have um, a command where it basically looks for certain commands and then it then comes up with alternate suggestions. And this particular script, which we don't need to go into too much, basically identifies as a whole suite of alternate subcommands that are exactly the same and it does those. But specifically, the, the most important thing here is it is returning exit code two. That means send this as an error to Claude, and then it'll actually look for the look at the error message, and it'll say, "Oh, okay, yeah, that's the alternative," and it tries it, and there we go. That's the alternative. So the old way, sad face, npm, new way, shiny bun, guaranteed. In the world of AI agents and language models, guarantees are few and far between. So that's why, to recap, I think that Claude Hooks 
are potentially more significant than MCP, sufficiently so that I expect pretty much every other tool to quickly scramble and add their own hooks as well. So the Anthropic guys are really innovative because they're the ones who came up with MCP and they've come up with this. These are not radical, radical ideas, but in the context of language models and in terms of what it enables, as you can see, this is significant. Can you imagine all the possibilities? Testing standards, architecture standards, because there's this is pre-tool use, but there's also post-tool use and other things as well. I will be sharing more about this kind of stuff in future, but for now, enjoy that exciting new journey. Have a look at that repo called Awesome Claude Hooks, I think it's called, and uh, happy AI coding, or at least not you, happy giving a coding agent instructions to code for you. All right, until next time.